Well, I never thought that I would be doing this video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you how you can build an online business after you lost your career. Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose, and I used to have a career in radio and television. Then I had my kids, and then everything came crashing down. Maybe you can relate, maybe you had a career or a job that you were just so passionate about. I, maybe naively, <laughs> thought that when I was pregnant with my daughter, that I would take six months off my job. I worked as a radio journalist, so I read the news, I wrote the news, I edited the news for a capital city station. And I just thought I would have like six months off work and come back again. I was pretty career oriented. I had a very, very clear plan of where I was gonna go, what I was gonna do, how that was gonna progress into the television industry, which I did go into. But after having my daughter, we got the news that she had been diagnosed with a life-threatening illness. As you can imagine, this threw a spanner in the works. And when it came time to decide whether I was going back to work or not, I decided that it really wasn't possible because we were doing lots of hospital visits and doctor's appointments, and we just didn't know what the future would hold for us. I did actually end up getting a dream job in the TV industry as a news producer, but it just was so much pressure with what was going on at home. And again, you know, we just didn't know how her health was going to pan out. Then I had my son and only a couple months later, my marriage broke down. So here I was a single parent of two children doing it all by myself, a child in and out of hospital and not quite knowing how I was going to put food on the table, let alone put a roof over our head. So maybe like you, I searched online how to make money online. <laughs> And I did an array of different things and earned money in several different ways, usually with online marketing, doubled in network marketing, high ticket sales, affiliate marketing, even creating my own courses and teaching via Skype and Zoom. And maybe you have done a couple of these things too. So what I wanted to share in this video is the things that I've learned on how to actually create a full-time income online, even if you don't know what to sell, because I've got seven steps that are quite crucial in your success with this. Now, before we get to the seven steps, I want you to ask yourself, First, what kind of business is going to allow you to live the life of your dreams? Like, what do you really want to do? What is really going to fit with your situation? Ideally, I wanted to get back into the radio industry, but with my current family situation, it just doesn't work. And then throw in the COVID pandemic, I've also become a full-time homeschooling mum, at least for the rest of this year. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And I've realized there are just some things that you really need to consider before just starting any kind of business online. So let me give you those seven steps to creating full-time income online, even if you have no idea what to sell. Let's do this. Okay, so there's a few other kind of questions that you wanna dive deeper into. And I actually have a PDF download, it has all these questions, plus the seven steps that I'm gonna give you in a little bit more detail. So if you want to grab that, I will put the link around this video. So you do wanna ask yourself, you know, how much money do you wanna earn? What kind of impact do you wanna have on other people and the world? What do you want your day to look like? Like someone who doesn't have kids, their day building a business of their dreams is going to look a little bit different to your day my day when we have kids whether they're little kids running around the house or older kids that are passing in and out just grabbing food and going out again what do you want your ideal day to look like how do you want your business to work around your family then here are the steps that you want to make sure that you've got in place to make a full-time income and i know this because i've tried different things and I've worked out what things are way easier to make money with than others. Now, <laughs> besides my kids, ah, <laughs> I also want to be working around my animals and having time for them. Oh, you're such a special boy, buddy. No barking. Now, the first thing is that I would suggest that you leverage high ticket offers. Now, I've sold high ticket and low ticket. And a lot of people think that it's much easier to sell a low ticket item and get a lower commission and just get more people. What I have found personally is that it takes about the same amount of effort to earn thousands of dollars per customer 
as it does to 10 or 20 or 50 dollars per customer so for example if you are looking to earn 10k per month you could either sell products that are worth 20 dollars and you would need to sell 500 of them or you could sell products that are two thousand dollars and you could sell five of them which would you rather do so step number two is acquiring a skill set we would rather teach you how to market online so that you have people coming to you rather than spamming people i would never tell you to spam people i hate that kind of stuff and i will never tell you to make a list of 100 people and message them awkward so the skill sets that i encourage people to learn are things like content creation, attraction marketing, lead generation, and free versus paid traffic. You really need to learn these so that no matter what is happening in the economy, you are able to still build your business and sell your products. Step number three that a lot of people I think don't quite understand is automation. And I'm not talking about using bots and taking you out of the equation. I'm talking about really smart automation such as a marketing funnel. And I actually used to get quite overwhelmed with this sort of stuff, thinking I had to create all this sort of stuff myself, which I actually don't, and this is something that we also teach, but having some sort of marketing funnel which helps people go through the sales process is something that you definitely want set up for yourself. Otherwise, you are having to try and sell and upsell and do all that sort of stuff yourself. And you really need that automated so that you can market to more and more people online and have people coming through a process by themselves so that you don't have to pick up the phone and try and call people, which no one ever answers their phone these days anyway. I've done that before. <laughs> And I used to get people answering the phone and going, no one's ever called me from the internet before. And I think I was lucky at the time that that used to work, but now it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't answer private numbers to you. But again, don't worry about this sort of thing because this is something we actually have automatically set up for people and we're doing kind of the hard, heavy lifting because this is a lot of stuff that people used to get stuck on and quite overwhelmed with in terms of online marketing. So relax we've got that covered if this is something that you want to do okay step number four is quite interesting it's about building an authentic brand online and oh my gosh this has changed so much over the years since i started online marketing we're really delving into helping people be themselves and actually be more attractive by being themselves than trying to create this like fancy pants perfectly curated image of yourself and it's really interesting by just being you and having a small amount of followers we actually don't need a million followers anymore but by being you and creating the right brand message you can have a very small following but still make quite significant sales in your business Step number five is something a lot of people don't want to hear, but 80% of your success is actually your inner work. Because if you don't do that, no matter what skill set you have, you are going to find a way to self-sabotage. I've been there. Step number six is really about mentorship and the people you have in close proximity in your business. You need to get around key leaders that are going to show you how they've created these six and seven figure businesses the new way. So we often bring in outside consultants. We spend like tens of thousands of thousands of dollars that are really going to hone in on specific skills and internet marketing, mindset, systems, you know, it. we've got it. Daisy, are you going to turn around for us? And step number seven is having a high vibe community. And no, <laughs> I don't mean your pets or your kids at home. Although, Daisy, you are very high vibe. My pets always make me feel better. You're such a good girl. What I mean by high vibe community is actually a community who is working on themselves, doing the 80% inner work, and also learning the skill sets and doing the things that you want to do, which is making a better life for yourself, creating career number two after you've lost the first one and having a fantastic online business that allows you and your family to live the life that you desire okay so if you want to go through these deeper i do have that seven step pdf buddy what are you trying to do <laughs> he's trying to get the cat you can download that at tracyrose.com forward slash seven steps and if you have any questions about building your online business then just reach out to me i'm always here to answer your questions all right i'll see you in the next video what kind of impact do you want? Hunt? <laughs> Is it a stare off between you guys?
Buddy, I can hear you heavy breathing. 